wide dynamic placeholders okay so there is a concept inside code which is called static placeholder and the dynamic placeholder okay so till now what i've seen it is a uh, it, that that placeholder concept will remain same but whatever you have seen that is a static uh, static placeholder that means if you are, we are saying that we should have a unique uh, key then it is a static placeholder so let's take an example okay so we have a page where you want to add a uh, two rows and uh, sorry two rows and two columns okay and you want to have the main the complete pay uh, complete part this body part okay this is a body part okay so this body part has a first placeholder and inside that you want to add a different component so first placeholder is your main body okay then you have a first row like this row is a first row okay uh, this row is a first row and then you have a second row so for main body first row and second row okay now in first row if you see here you have a column so you want to you you give the name as a placeholder as a right column and for left it is a left column so similarly we have a right column and left column now there is a problem okay so if you see the uh the till now whatever we we have uh, seen that placeholder should have a unique key okay so you can only have a it means you can have only have a single placeholder with the same name so you can't have a two placeholder like right column left column so if you if, if i am an author i can't design this kind of a structure okay because i can't give the two uh, uh, two column same name okay two placeholder with the same name like right column left column okay so previous version the old version the legacy version used to add the uh, one of the additional uh, third party uh, component that is called as a placeholder a dynamic placeholder okay but now uh, sitecore has provided that functionality inbuilt so we so, so there uh, uh, for this solution to this is the dynamic placeholder now how how it uh, is it, it is a solution so what happens when you use the dynamic placeholder when you use the dynamic placeholder what as a developer i even though i have given this like main body first row right column left column i have provided this kind of a uh, placeholder but if as a author i if i add this right column twice what it does is it add the unique suffix okay so whenever i will add the uh, no, uh, as a author i am i am adding the the right column twice it will add the unique suffix that will make both those placeholders uh, unique okay so remember uh, one most important thing that the placeholders are created by the developers and pages are designed by the authors okay so right column is created right column is a placeholder which is created by the uh, by the developer and author is uh, creating this kind of a structure on the experience editor okay so he don't know uh, what is there in the background so okay so what is happening in the background he will add a right column twice here but in the background what will dynamic placeholder will do it will generate the unique suffix okay add it to the placeholder key so even though you have the same placeholder key okay you, as a developer i am giving you the same key okay but site code changes it dynamically once you saw uh, once you see that it's a dynamic placeholder so it what it does is it's a right column you will have a unique uh, key like this okay so you will have a right column zero left column zero like this okay so this is how player dynamic placeholder is we will be used or this is why we need the dynamic placeholder because you can't add same placeholder key twice you can't add a static a placeholder key or a regular placeholder key twice on the your page so in this dynamic placeholder if you see this unique key okay so this unique key is the id of the rendering where your placeholder is added so in summary what happens uh, what why we need a dynamic placeholder is when you use the regular placeholder okay or a static placeholder if you add if you if you as per the rule or as per the uh, the uh, the protocol we should have a unique placeholder but if you add if you add a two uh, uh, placeholders it will actually get repeated i mean whatever component you will add in the right uh, 
column in above first row it will get duplicated in the second row so to avoid this we use a dynamic placeholder dynamic placeholder automatically creates the unique key and that key where you see this id it is basically uh, the, the id of the rendering where the placeholder is added so that way we will, will able to solve this problem of a uh, unique key of 